So good morning, everybody. It's wonderful to be here in the house of the Lord at Chilo. And we're here for our final day of the first week of our international school 2019. And uh, it's been a wonderful feast so far. And we're going to start again today by declaring from the Word of God a passage of Scripture. And it's Ephesians chapter 1, verses 3 through to 14. And we're going to proclaim it out loud. So proclaim it as though you're speaking it out and appropriating, taking hold of all these wonderful promises that are in this passage of Scripture. Amen? Amen. So let's begin together from verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in him, before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, by which he made us acceptable in the beloved verse 7 in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace which he made to abound toward us in all wisdom and prudence having made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure which he purposed in himself, verse 10, that in the dispensation of the fullness of the times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth in him. In him we also have obtained an inheritance being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things together, the counsel of his will. Verse 12, that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. In him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession to the praise of his glory. Amen. Such wonderful promises in those first verses there in chapter 1 of Ephesians that we can take hold of. That's what the Word of God says. And so we're going forth into this day with worship and praise. Amen. To the praise of His glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. So let's stand together. And again, this, this song has not left us. During this school we shall pursue, overtake and recover all. The kingdom of our God is advancing. The powers of darkness have been disarmed. Amen. We march through the land and shout, restore. restore. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you for today. God, we thank you that you have all authority and you've given us that authority in Christ. Jesus, we thank you for your kingdom in the midst of us. We thank you, God, for what you're going to reveal to us today. Hallelujah. Let's sing together, we shall pursue, we shall pursue, overtake and recover all, the kingdom of our God is advancing, hallelujah, the powers of darkness have been disarmed, we'll march through the land and shall restore, we shall hallelujah. pursue, we shall pursue, overtake and recover all. The kingdom of our God is advancing. Hallelujah. The powers of darkness have been disarmed. We'll march through the land and shall 
shall pursue, overtake, and recover all. The kingdom of our God is advancing. The powers of darkness have been disarmed. We'll march through the land and shall restore. There's a new song rising up. All creation Rejoices to hear the sound, praise is ringing forth as deliverers are coming out of Zion. I just want to encourage you. We've been singing this one in our family, in our home, with our boys, who are two, three, and five, and uh, they're getting the revelation because when we sing, deliverers are coming out of Zion. At the end of the song, do you know what they do? They go, I'm a deliverer. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because the Christ Messiah is in us. Amen. So this is a joyous song, but it's a serious song. This is very real that we shall pursue, overtake and recover all. Nothing is lost. Hallelujah. We shall pursue, overtake and recover all. The kingdom our God is advancing. Hallelujah. The powers of darkness have been disarmed. We'll march through the land and shall restore. There's a new song rising up. All creation rejoices to hear the sound. is advancing the powers <coughs> the powers of darkness have been disarmed we'll march through the land and shall restore there's a new song rising up all creation all creation rejoices to hear the sound Amen. It says in Obadiah, and it's in verse 17, because who knows there's only one chapter there. So in Obadiah 17, it says, But on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. The house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Hallelujah. And if you were here yesterday, you learn about who Jacob is. Amen. He's the generation of those who seek the face of God. Hallelujah. And then it says in verse 21, Then saviors or deliverers shall come to Mount Zion to judge the mountains of Esau. And if you were here yesterday, you would have heard from Apostle Paul, mountains prophetically speak of kingdoms. They prophetic in Daniel, mountains speak of kingdoms. Amen. And so prophetically, the mountains of Esau are the mountains of the flesh, the mountains of what man has devised the mountains of man. And so there's deliverers. It says, Then deliverers shall come to Mount Zion to judge the mountains of Esau. And the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. Yeah. Ho! Yeah. And so this school is to raise up deliverers. Yes. It's time for deliverers yeah. to come to Mount Zion. Hallelujah. And judge the mountains of Esau. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. And then it will be revealed that the kingdom is Yahweh. So we are to pursue, where to overtake, and where to recover all. 
It's time to shout, Restore! 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 Hallelujah! There's a new song coming up, amen? Praise is springing forth. Yes, I believe we're ready to sing it now. Amen! Hallelujah! <laughs> we shall pursue, overtake, and recover all. Kingdom of our God! The kingdom of our God is advancing. The powers of darkness have been disarmed. We'll march through the land and shall restore. There's a new song rising up. All creation rejoices to hear the sound. Praise is bringing forth. Praise is springing forth. As deliverers are coming out. We shall pursue, overtake, and recover all. The kingdom of our God is advancing. The powers of darkness have been disarmed. We'll march through the land and shall restore. Hallelujah. 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 God, we proclaim this Word. We proclaim this Word into the nations, into the earth at this time. That it's time for deliverers to come to Mount Zion. It's time for instruments of restoration to be raised up. Men and women and children who all have the cry, Restore, restore, restore. And so God, we speak this out over the nations, over the earth. God deliver us coming to Zion, yes. judging the mountains of Esau. Hallelujah. Pe- are people equipped, are people trained, are people who are being sent out with that living and powerful Word of God yes. in, the of in the name of Jesus to bring the truth that brings restoration in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are here Amen. for your purpose. Jesus, come to align ourselves. To align ourselves with Your Spirit. Come, Lord Jesus, come. We are here. We are here for Your purpose. For Your
the door. And the door is open. Your spirit pours forth. Your spirit pours forth. Your spirit pours forth as the rain. New life. New life is springing forth. Spring up, oh well, your spirit. Your spirit. Joyce Linda, come out. I just felt, I just felt Sister Joyce Linda, even on my heart yesterday, but even again this morning, God really wants to touch you. Sister Joyce Linda lives out of Kanamala, and uh, she's completed the basic discipleship manual. Yeah, very seriously, studying it really seriously, and with Catherine, uh, in relationship with Catherine, which is just awesome. So Catherine, do you want to come out too? <laughs> because uh, I, really, I really believe God wants to release a boldness and a freshness. And just the refrain of that, two things, the refrain of that song, we are changed forevermore. But there's just there's a release in you that you're changed forevermore. God's changing you. This is an awesome moment in your life. It's like a Jacob to Israel moment. It's a change. It's a transformation that's taking place. Hallelujah. Ho! 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 Karamatata karamashanda bababa karamayandu riveridikia kiaramayanda. And God is saying, ask, and it will be given. Seek, and you'll find. Knock, and I'll open the door for you, Joyce. So receive right now. God, I thank you for that awesome change. Change. Transformation. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
thank you, Jesus. And God, right now, I thank you for a release of that boldness and courage to step up into that new realm where you've ordained for her to be. God, she's been equipped. God, to the degree you've equipped her right now. And God, right now, we release that anointing. Thank you, Jesus. of the Spirit blowing upon you, Joycelyn, a mighty wind blowing away all of those um, worries and fears and concerns, but He's breathing on you new life. And I just felt to come. I just saw the Lord say to me, go and roar. Go and release the roar in her in Jesus' name. So, Father, right now we release that roar, the roar of the Lion of the tribe of Judah coming forth out of the innermost parts of Joycelyn in Kanamala. May Kanamala hear the roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah. May every knee bow and every tongue confess in Kanamala that Jesus the Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ho! Father, we just release a deep intercession. Father, that you'd bring her into that realm of deep intercession. Father, she's been faithful in prayer, but you're wanting to bring her in to a deeper level now, Lord. You're wanting to take, take her deeper. And the Lord says to yield yourself to Him. Yield to me, my daughter. Yield to me and I will pray through you. I've given you my spirit to pray through you and intercede for things that you know not of. Only yield your body to me. Yield your voice to me. Yield everything to me and I will flow through you and bring to pass things that will astonish and astound you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The enemy is a defeated foe. The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed in Kanamala. Amen. The enemy has been cast down. The horse and rider thrown into the sea. Yesterday afternoon, I believe it was, as we were getting towards our house, and one of the brethren in the car <coughs> noticed a rainbow. And, by the, and, and then Hillary was very interested in that. And when we stopped, she got out of the car quickly and, and she actually got a photograph of that rainbow over our house at, um, at 70 Stephen Street. I like to call our house the house of Messiah. And, um, it was just, just as we've been in the worship today, I'm just, just very blessed by that, Hillary. Thank you, God, for putting a, a rainbow in the sky yesterday afternoon that seemed to go up from our house, releasing the covenant blessings. Amen. And so, and that can even be prophetic over us. Yes, amen. Over us as this people now. Amen. There's a release, and in, even through this school so far, there's been a release of those covenant blessings. Understanding we're sons of Abraham. Understanding we're, we're of the seed. We're of the promise. We're sons of promise. And so that, that rainbow, that sign of the covenant, 
is over us today. It's over the house of Messiah, of which we are. And so, so see yourself in that. If, if, you've, if you've still struggled at all to see how you fit into that, release, be released from any, any other doctrine, any other false, any other mindset, that because you're a Gentile or something, that somehow that you're missing out on something. No, through faith in Jesus the Messiah, you're a son of Abraham. You're a son of the promise. Hallelujah. You're an heir of the world. Ask of me. I'll give you the nations for your inheritance, the ends of the earth for your possession. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he's the one who has gone before us. The king is at our head. He's the one, the breaker, the one who has broken open the way. And this song that we're going to sing now came at the beginning of this year. You're breaking open our hearts. You're breaking us out of all fear. You're sending us out in your power. For this is the time. This is the year. Jesus. Forever. 
you're breaking open our hearts you're breaking us out of all fear you're sending us out in your power for this is the time this is the You're sending us out in your power, for this is the time, this is the year. We're going out, we're passing through the door, we're going out, you've gone before. Passing through the door, we're going out. The king is at our head, and the chorus rising. You reign, you reign, you reign forevermore. You. his anointing he has a fullness of his anointing he has a fullness of his power and even as I saw just a voice box being filled with his anointing I saw him waiting for each of us to come forward bringing that gift in us bringing that gift that's separated that's been placed in there by him and saying come and be filled with my power come and be filled with my anointing even as Jesus, he went forward in the anointing of the Spirit of the Lord. He knew he could go forward in that anointing. I see him pouring that out. And so I just invite all of us to just bring that gift. Bring that gift that he's placed in you, that you see yourself going forward, going forward and ministering to the Lord, ministering to others. But today he's wanting to feel his anointing over you so that it goes forward in His voice, so that it would be His hands laying on the sick, so that it would be Him. Father, we thank You that You are changing us forevermore. And Father, we thank You for Your Word, which speaks to us, which says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. 
and we bring every thought into captivity. We pull down the strongholds that are still in our life and we release ourselves fully into the spirit that sets us free, that changes us forevermore. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing breaks the yoke. And so there's a breaking of the yoke, a breaking of any bondage over you right now. Because He's breaking us out. He's breaking us out of all fear. Hallelujah. He's breaking us out of all fear. So there's an anointing to break you free this morning. Yes, we receive it, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing opens the eyes of the blind. The anointing brings recovery of sight to the blind. The anointing releases us from any oppression, any pressure. In the name of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus. And it's His perfect love pouring into us that casts out all fear. So receive that. Receive that. Oh, hallelujah. You're breaking us open. You're breaking us out. And the King is at our head. The King is going before us. Yahweh is at our head. The King is going before you. That lion of the tribe of Judah is going before you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let it roar. Let him roar.
of the Lord so those ones I've asked to come and serve can come forward we, we heard this yesterday but in Joshua it says and it came to pass when Joshua was by Jericho that he lifted up his eyes and looked and behold a man stood opposite him with his sword drawn in his hand and Joshua went to him and said to him are you for us or for our adversaries 
So he said, no, but as commander of the army of Yahweh, I have come to, I have come now, now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, what does my Lord say to his servant? And then the commander of Yahweh's army said to Joshua, take your sandal off your foot for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. So in the presence of Yahweh, it is holy. And he is meeting with us this morning. And in those last couple of worship songs that we were bringing forth, I was just hearing one sound. It was just awesome. At the beginning of the, the, the day when we were reading our scriptures, there was a few people coming in at different places and, and we, it wasn't like we were all in one accord. We were reading the same word, but we weren't all in unison as we did it. But by the time we've come to the end of this, this time of worship in the presence of the, of the King, there was just one sound coming forth. Very awesome. It was like there was just one voice proclaiming this word. And we are in the presence of of the most holy God. In His presence, there is no fear. In His presence, everything is open and laid bare before Him. In His presence, He can look right inside of each one of us and see our hearts. But He doesn't do that to condemn or to make us feel unworthy. He does that because He loves us and He already sees you in that perfected place. He sees you reflecting Him, reflecting His glory. So God wants us to just focus on Him as we come to His table this morning. He is the holy God. He is a holy God, but He loves us. And it's because of what He did that we are able to stand before him today. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You come to us as the commander of your armies, your people, your hosts. We are those hosts. We are the ones that he is the commander of and he expects from us that reverential awe, that fear that is a holy fear, but that, that willingness to, to do what our commander says to do. So let us heed the voice of our commander. Let us obey the voice of our commander. Let us proclaim the word as the commander instructs us to. Amen. So this morning we have our bread and our cup. We thank you. Jesus, that this is his body, his blood, broken, shed for us, and he gave it to us to remember him, to partake of him, to proclaim him, and to recognize that, yes, he died on that cross for us, but he is the almighty king who is seated, who is ruling and reigning, and who is coming. Amen. So we are proclaiming today the Lord's death until he comes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. The Almighty God is great and powerful. And we were reading is this my Bible? Oh, this is my Bible. We were reading today our Ezekiel readings. And for those of you that were in the class yesterday, we can just leave it a little, one more moment, Jeff. Um, we saw the word preach was there. And the, pre the word preach was in bold. And that word preach means 
to drop down as water, to fall in drops, to flow, to drip, to ooze, to distill, to trickle, to cause words to flow. And it refers to the dripping or flowing of water. This is what we do when we preach. We're releasing that water, that river. We're releasing the rain to come. And so we sang that beautiful song about your spirit pours forth like the rain. But the word of God also comes as water, as rain, to refresh, to, to cause new life to spring up. Amen? So as we are in this school, we're being released through the, the rain of the spirit coming down upon us and the water of the word coming upon us to wash us and cleanse us. Amen. So we'll, thank you, Jeff.